from Tampa Bay's streaming news leader. Brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Isabel Rosales. Jason Adams has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. We're getting our first look at the man accused of breaking into a Palmetto City Commissioner's home. Officers say uh, Avelino Vasquez Perez took off during a traffic stop, crashed into a home, then ran into that commissioner, Brian Williams' home. That is when they say that Williams shot the alleged intruder. Vasquez Perez is out of the hospital and facing charges. The investigation is ongoing, but authorities say Williams likely will not face charges. More than 120 affordable housing units are coming to Tampa. The University Area CDC just releasing plans for this new development called Uptown Sky. The goal is to keep low income or middle working class families in the area. We have a link for you to apply for this housing on abcactionnews.com. Pinellas County is looking to keep pedestrians and bicyclists safe along the roads, and that means more people could be getting traffic tickets. They've moved on from the educational phase and straight into the citation phase. This means they will be looking closer at haunt spots to help reduce deadly traffic crashes. From now until May, deputies will be looking at eight locations and seeing if people break traffic laws. That could lead to crashes. In other news, uh, Sears says it is closing 80 more stores, including the one at West Shore Plaza in Tampa and a location in Port Ritchie. Those stores are closing by March, while the auto center section will close next month. Now here's Jason with your forecast. Jason. We'll start your Saturday morning with temperatures into the upper 60s to near 70 degrees, a humid overnight tonight. That humidity will last through the day tomorrow as well. So with daytime heating, we can't rule out chance for a few isolated showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder, but that's on the lower risk. We're only talking about a 20 to 30% chance to see that happening. Inland temperatures, mid 80s, coastal temperatures, upper 70s, low 80s, near record highs continue for us as we go through Saturday and Sunday as well. Jason, thank you. And don't forget, you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. Remember to download our free ABC Action News app. Have a great day. This ABC Action News Brief was brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. Pedestrians, make yourself visible. Wear bright, reflective colors, especially at night, because safety doesn't happen by accident.